What's up, YouTube? CT Shadows here, and uh, I'm here to do a video for a friend of mine. Uh, he requested that um, uh, I actually made a video yesterday, and uh, it was a video basically explaining a play or some of the plays that I like to do with my six samurais. And um, a, uh, one of my friends told me that he would rather see a video explaining how to play six samurais uh, rather than seeing some of the plays that I do with my deck. So. I'm guessing he's just trying to plan to make six samurais when the structure deck comes out. So uh, yeah, I decided that I would help him uh, by learning how to play the deck uh, by making a video for him about how to actually play the deck. And um, you can play some different uh, versions of six samurai. I personally play basically a standard version where you know you run the triple keys on. Well, uh, it's basically it's not like control sams. I basically, I can make it controlled if I wanted to, by just um, bringing out the main guys, obviously, Shien, you bring out Shien, and you bring out Nateria Beast, and that's basically all the control you need right there. So, it's not that uh, hard to make it a control deck, but I personally don't like to run it as if it were a control deck. I just like to... Uh, swarm the field and come back late in game so now basically you have key cards in a six samurai deck and I'm gonna lay those out for you key cards here that these are personally this is my personal preference obviously I'm not the best Yu-Gi-Oh player around or even the best sand player around but I I've had this deck for a decent amount of time and uh, I think I, I'm, I'm pretty decent with the deck so I can I, I say I can pick out some of the key cards that you run in the deck uh, here we go. And last card. Last couple cards, actually. Here we go. And then, obviously, you have the trap card. Okay. No, I'm sorry for my foot. I'm actually filming on the floor because I don't have a desk, um, to get a, a wide enough angle. So, um, yeah, these are the, these are, uh, in my opinion, the key cards. Um, obviously you have Kagamusha. Kagamusha, the six samurais have their own tuner. And he's a two star earth warrior tuner. And that's who you basically use to go into Shien. Or any other five star synchro. Any synchro. He's the only tuner you run in the deck unless you run Valor, which I personally don't. I'm actually thinking about teching Valor in just because of all the monsters that are all the decks that Valor can stop their plays by negating their main effects. So, um,. I, I might think if you don't have Valor, which I don't, this is this will be your only tuner. So I personally run him at three. Grandmaster, uh, one of the key guys in the deck because of um, his effect and the fact that he's a 21 beater and he's very very easy to bring out on the field, especially with the fact that you're out you're allowed to search him with Gateway of the Six Samurai from the deck or graveyard. And obviously his effect over here, if you can read it because it's on my mat. It's basically, um, you can special summon if you control one or more Sams. And um, you can only control one of him at a time on the field, though. But if you control one or more Sams, you can special summon him from your hand. And if he would be destroyed, you can target a six Samurai in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. So even if he, if you try and special him and he gets Solemn Warning, you can bounce him from the grave back to your hand and then just special him again. So really good card. Then next, I run him at two, by the way. Next, Kizan. Now, uh, I'm a really big um, Six Samurai fan, so I like to do my research on stuff. And um, even by just looking at the card, I figured out that Kizan is supposed to be a younger version of Grandmaster. You can, um, I don't know if you can tell from up there, but um, they're wearing the same armor, and they have virtually the same effect. Kizan, when you control another, a Six Samurai with another name other than Kizan, you can special him from your hand. He kind of works like Bora uh, for Black Wings. And Grandmaster's attack is originally 2100. But when you control two or more Sams, even if it's two other Kizons, Kizon's attack becomes 2100. So that's kind of one of the things that I was like, oh, okay, then maybe Kizon's a younger version of Grandmaster. And it's really cool because if you what you do with the deck is swarm a lot. So Kizon, if he's by himself, 1800. If you have other Sams on the field, more than, more than two, um then he becomes 2100 
So Kizan basically is a 2100 beater because most of the time he's not the only Sam on the field because of his effect that you can just special him from your hand and he's searchable from gateway so you can synchro with him and then obviously you can normal, special, synchro, gateway, add him back to your hand and special him from the hand if you have another Sam on the field. Now gateway. Gateway is basically the deck's main card. Um, you can win without gateway. But Gateway sets up the craziest um, plays for the deck. And it's basically, uh, usually a lot of people don't know what Gateway does. If um, you, nor any anytime you summon a Samurai, it gets two Bushido counters. You can remove two to pump any six Samurai on the field by 500. You can remove four to search from for a six Samurai any level from the deck or the graveyard, add it to your hand. And then you can remove six. This is basically the least use effect. It's a special summon and a neat uh, Shein effect monster from your graveyard. And a Shein effect mo oh, excuse me. A Shein effect monster would be something like Anishi's Chancellor. But um Anishi's Chancellor can't be special because of his effect that says he can't be special summoned by any other ways than by removing two cents from the grave. But um like somebody like Shein's advisor or Shein Squire, you can remove six from here to special them from the graveyard straight to the field. So that's the main card. And then you have aestheticism. Aestheticism is one of the main cards because it sets up some of the combo plays also where you can target one six samurai on your field and special summon a six samurai from the deck that has a different name but the same attack. And this is how you set up some of the first turn Shien plays or first turn beast plays where let's say you have this card and this card in your hand. You can normal summon Kagamusha, then aestheticism. And this guy, Elder, I run him at two. And you can special summon, he's the only six samurai with a different name and the same attack and they both came out in the same pack so obviously it was um this is how it was meant to be used so you can special summon him bam special summon a level three star well he's the, he's the guy that you would special summon because he has a different name but the same attack and then they make five you can go they're both earth so you can go into beast and they their levels equals five so you can go into Sheehan, you can go into hyper librarian you can go into Cataster. and it's basically this card sets up plays especially if you have gateway Gateway, it gives you counters, you can special summon a Grandmaster, special summon a Kizon, and then make Beast. So, in case you have like a Magatama or something. Or just if you like going first turn Beast. I personally like going first turn Beast more, because it gives you more control. If I'm going first, I'd rather bring out a Beast over Sheehan now, because a lot of decks run Magic cards to set up their plays. You know, Windups have their Windup Factory, Insectors have uh, Foolish Burial, Allure, Pot of Duality for hand correction, stuff like that. Dark Worlds have their field spell, uh, card destruction, Dark World dealings. So when you have a guy like this on the field, and they they have no way of getting over him. Um, Insectors, they have, obviously, Hornet to pop. But you can, like I said, you can special summon Grandmaster before you sink and set a Magatama to negate the effect. I mean, it's not going to do more, and that's why I'm thinking of attacking Invaler. Because as good as first turn Beast is for Magic, if you're playing a deck like Insectors, they can just pop him. So if you tech in Valor, you Valor Dragonfly, and he doesn't get his search, and there's and they sit there with a thousand uh, monster on the field, which is puny compared to Beast is 22. So that's why I personally like going first turn Beast better than I like going first turn Sheehan, because Beast has infinite negates for magic, well, whereas Sheehan, they can bait you out, where if they have a Book of Moon and a Dark Hole, if they try and Book of Moon first, you obviously have to negate, because if you don't negate, then he's just flipped, and you can't negate anyway. So you negate the Book of Moon, and they just activate Dark Hole. But with Beast, there's nothing they can really do to get past it unless they find some way to run it over. Which is kind of hard to do without a Magic card. Uh, so yeah, that's why Asceticism is a really good card. Now, 6M United uh, is basically the draw power of the deck. Obviously, it has searchability with Gateway. has searchability with um, Smoke Signal, which is at 2 now. And it has searchability with Rhoda. So that's four search cards, because it searches from Grave, Deck, Sheen Smoke Signal, searches from Deck, and you have two in the deck, and then one Rota searches from Deck, which is basically, it searches out every monster in my deck, except for Grandmaster and Chancellor. Every other monster in my deck is searchable by Rota. So yeah, this card, United, it's the deck's draw power. I run it at three. Basically, normal, any anytime you summon a six samurai, normal or special, it gets a counter. I'm sorry if you can hear sirens in the background. I have no idea what's going on. That, those are some really loud sirens. 
So um, anytime you summon a samurai, it gains a counter, and the maximum is two counters. You can send it to the graveyard and draw as many um, cards as to the amount of counters. So if you have two counters, send it to the grave, it's basically a pot of greed. And then I've had hands where I've drawn three of these cards, and I special summon Kizon Grandmaster, sent all three to the grave, and I draw a new hand. So this card is pretty amazing. Uh, and the fact that it's only for Sam's, this is basically the closest thing we have to Pot of Greed, unless you want to count Shard of Greed, which I really don't think is a good card at all. And then Double-Edged Sword Technique. Double-Edged Sword Technique is uh, one of the Sam trap cards that is actually playable, unlike Backs to the Wall or, I think, Six Strike Double Impact or some crazy stuff like that. Double-Edged Sword Technique lets you special summon two Sams from the grave, and it allows you to bring them back. But at the end phase, they're destroyed and you burn for their attack. But usually what you do is when you bring them back, the first thing you're going to do is either Exceed or Synchro. So you don't even have to worry about that secondary effect. The one thing you do have to worry about is uh, Warning or Torrential. Stuff like that that can mess up your play. I mean, either way you don't burn. The last thing you want to do with Double Edge Sword Technique is burn. So make sure that if you bring back two guys, you have uh, a Rank 4 Exceed to go into or a Rank 3 or um, a Synchro to Sync for it. Like, make sure you don't bring back Elder and Kagamusha, and then you have, you, you just realize that they already nuked your extra deck by warning and judgmenting your, your stuff. Like, if you're out of Sheens, if you're out of Cataster, if they somehow manage to get rid of your entire extra deck of 5 stars, don't bring back um, monsters to go into a level 5 Synchro. You have to play it smart. If you know that you're out of level 5 synchros, but you see two keys on in the graveyard, then bring them both back and exceed for a level 4. So it's a really good card because it sets up some pretty deadly combos. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have these cards in hand. This is your starting hand. See, and these are the key cards. This hand would be considered God Hand because, bam, activate, activate. Normal Summon, Aestheticism, Elder, and there you have your Draw Power, and then you have your Search Power. Here, you would Synchro, I'd go for Sheen, and then you set this. Let's say they play, they're playing on the defensive because they have no response to this. They set a monster and they set a back row. You have Sheen, you have nothing to worry about. So the first thing you're going to do is draw. Four counters on Gateway, never forget that, that you can search from the Graveyard, or the deck and either one comes in handy so you have six counters actually because of Sheen activate bam double edged sword technique bring two bring back these guys you haven't uh, normal summoned yet so you can if you want to be greedy you can synchro into five you have nothing to worry about because of Sheen other than warning bam hyper librarian you have eight counters because double edged sword technique although it brings out two monsters it brings them out at the same time, so it only counts as one counter for 6M United and only two counters instead of four for Gateway. So just remember that. So instead of having ten counters, uh, it counts as only um, two counters. So right now, Gateway is at eight counters. I can remove four to search for, let's say, I want a Synchro again. I can search for a Kageki, which is, I guess you can consider him a main card, but I only run him at one. So you can search for a Kageki, and then four counters left. So you can remove four, and instead of wasting a Kag your last Kagamusha, because remember you have one in hand right now, so instead of wasting your last Kagamusha because you have one in hand and one in the grave, just bring back the one that was in the grave back to your hand. So now this is what your hand looks like. You can now normal summon, because you haven't yet, and activate his effect, which is when he's normal summoned, you can activate his effect to special summon a level 4 lower 6 samurai from your hand. Bam, that's where the tuner comes in. Especially the tuner. Unless he gets Valored. And then that's when you Synchro for 5. Cataster. Hyper Librarian effect. You draw one. Bam. And then you have another 4 counters on Gateway. Because you Normal and then Special. So now you have, you have the ability to remove 4 and search for a Kizon or Grandmaster. Because you control a 6 Samurai Sheen. So that's when the swarming starts. Bam. You can search again. Bam. So, uh, <laughs> sound effects. But yeah, 
I think this power, this uh, this this swarming power that they have, and this control power that they have, is very useful in the meta right now. And obviously, they're not any Triforce deck, but in my opinion, they're definitely a top ten deck. And I hope that um this basically um taught you some stuff that you may not have known. Uh, t teaches you how the deck works and such. So um if you're planning on making the deck when the structure deck comes out, uh, I wouldn't blame you. Especially because Konami's trying to make like tournament ready decks. And I think it's kind of funny how they're starting with Sam's when they nerfed them format before last. But yeah, I mean, Fiendish Chain reprint, and we're getting our own XYZ, and hopefully it's a good one. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy these videos, if anything? If you guys like them, then I'll probably do one on my Insectors, even though you can't really not know how to play Insectors. I mean, they're a really popular deck. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Yeah, CT Shadow signing up.